All right, we got full space ball, single box, left sider number 89. Should specify 17 on there. There we go. Only re roll the snake guys. We got a six and a one. We're going seven times. I'm going to randomize the names, the serial numbers. Then I'll open up the case and I'll roll a single die to determine which one of the inner boxes we'll use for this break. Then the other side will be for number 90, which is in the store now on seven. Five or six and seven. We have Tommy Fitz down to Sandy G. And seven times on the serial numbers. Five or six. Seventh and final. We have five up top, 12 down low. Tommy fits in the one hole. There you go, boys and girls. So I'm going to roll a single die. If we roll a one, two, or three, we'll go with the top box. If we roll a four, five, or a six, we'll go with the bottom box. All right, here we go. Oh, we need an official redo here. Damn it. Damn it. Let's try this again. We've got a five. Five it is. So we're gonna go with the bottom box and the top one will be for left side number 90. I think I've actually rolled it off the table more times than I've kept it on the table historically with these type of breaks. It's not a very big table from the front here to the back wall. <laughs> Zach, you need me to add some plot, uh, Taurus dice roll? Well, there's not exactly walls on the table here. <laughs> Duke. Where did you buy filler bucks? Zach? Why did you buy filler bucks, Zach? I don't see anything. This one didn't come with a uh, 
one of those flawless diamond guarantees. So put a blocker over it. I don't know what that means, Pac-Man. Like show you show you around the break room here? What do you want to see? The floor? Alright guys, here we go. First up, number 12 of 20, David Dahl, Dual Patch Auto. Colorado Rockies, 12 of 20, going to Sandy. Legendary Trios, 3 of 10. If that's not the hottest patch of Tony Gwynn, what in the world? Tony Gwynn, Stan Musial, and Rod Carew. That is a sick card right there. Three for Tommy. What a freaking patch on that thing, man. Unbelievable. Usually for Tony Gwynn, you see like single color stuff. That is freaking sick. Nice one, Tommy. Right behind it, number three of seven, Bob Feller. Great patch for the Cleveland Indians. Uh, D. Woody, send me an email with a picture of the card and how much you want for it, D. Woody. PlatinumCarBreaks at gmail.com. Next up. Legendary Signatures. Jimmy Rice. 24 of 25. Going out to Tommy Fitz. Tommy Fitz. I don't, I don't mess around when it comes to the music situation. 7 of 20. Yon Moncada. Number 7. Benny! Benny! Ladies and gents, we have a cut. I have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> I have no freaking clue. 5 of 15. Memorable Marks Trevor Story for the Rockies. Number 5. Going to Tommy. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm like, who is this guy? I really have no clue. <laughs> who is this guy? I don't know. I'm going to throw it in a mag just just in case he's somebody special. Looks like his auto is pretty cool. Number 5 of 15. Cut auto. His name is Ed Barrow. It says New York on it. Ed Barrow. Let's see what it says here. From 1921 to 46, no team in baseball won more regular season games pennants or World Series titles than New York. He's a Yankee guy. And I have no idea who he is. Barrow was the backbone of the Bronx front office during that span, pulling the strings that turned the team from an also ran into a perennial favorite. Front office guy for the Yankees, 5 of 15, Ed Barrow. Shabam, number five, Tommy Fitz. Good old Fitz does it again. And Mike Piazza, 
four of five for the Mets. Don Yeezy with the Piazza Auto. Piazza stuff sells, man. Nice hit. He was a de facto GM. Credited with building the Yankees dynasty. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. I had no idea. Never heard the name before. Just a little before my time. Is that the guy that pulled off the Babe Ruth trade? Nah, he's a little bit after Babe Ruth, I think, right? Might be a little bit off after. I'm not sure. Could be. All right, first up we have... Could be, I'm not sure. Kirby Puckett Sapphire. Out of 10. 10 of 10. Going out to Tommy Fitz. Tommy's on fire tonight. Next up, we have an alma mater emerald, Alex Bregman, LSU. Alma mater emer emerald, LSU, Alex Bregman, and it's numbered four of five for Don Yeezy, a collegiate alma mater emerald. And the last card. Ooh. Aaron Judge. Rookie signature, 14 of 15 for the Yankees. Going to the Cubbies. Cubbies just hit the freaking Benintendi last case. Wow, Cubbies, wow. Yeah, buddy. The debut signatures set. Rookie autograph, Aaron Judge. Shabam a lamb, baby. Another nice box of the Flaws Baseball. Ladies and gents, that is it for number 89. Thank you very much.